Well, perhaps you're starting to see why this react, this chapter, this lecture outline is called uh, chemical reactions. We're up to our fourth and final reaction type for this lecture outline, redox reactions. And we've listed our first three here. And of course, double replacement has three subtypes that we just covered. Now let's talk about redox reactions. So, and before we can do the reactions, we're gonna talk about a concept called the oxidation number. My abbreviation for oxidation number is capital O, capital N, and you'll also see it called the oxidation state. And the oxidation number is a hypothetical charge a hypothetical charge assigned to an atom or assigned to each atom that helps us keep track of electrons in a reaction. And my symbol for electrons is E superscript minus. Keep track of electrons in a reaction. Okay? And this is a completely general process for doing it, um, whether it's a redox reaction or not. Because redox reactions involve the transfer of electrons from one species to another. And we're going to be interested in keeping tra track of those electrons. Sorry about that. We're back. Um, yes, so, uh, and redox reactions are going to be made up of two parts, the oxidation half reaction, and in the oxidation half reaction, an uh, element loses electrons, And in a uh, reduction half reaction, an element gains electrons. The reduction half reaction gains electrons. And my acronym that helps me remember uh, oxidation and reduction is, so an element loses electrons, lose electrons oxidation, Leo, gain electrons reduction, so gain electrons reduction, and uh, Gur. so Leo the lion says, Gur. There are other uh, ways to remember that as well. And it's called redox reactions because oxidation and reduction or reduction and oxidation always happen together. Reduction and oxidation half reactions always occur together. And so that's why it's called redox reactions. If something loses electrons, something else has to gain them. There are not, at least chemically speaking, electrons running around willy-nilly, uh, not attached to anything. 